Hi, I'm Lisa Thomas-Prince. I'm an outreach specialist at the Center for Healthy Minds. When our education research team uh, is carrying out research in the community, I'm one of the teachers to provide training in mindfulness and well-being skills for students and teachers. One of the projects I've been working on is with a curriculum called the Kindness Curriculum, which was designed specifically for kids ages four to six. It's a series of lessons that shares uh, mindfulness and kindness activities with kids, and their research so far has shown benefits for kids in terms of their attentional skills, being able to focus on schoolwork in the classroom, um, on their ability to manage their emotions and their bodies, which is always a challenge for young learners, as well as uh, pro-social and sharing kinds of uh, behaviors with their classmates. One of the activities that is incorporated in the curriculum is mindful movement of the body. And so we're going to be sharing with you today some of our mindful movements that we do with kids. So we're going to do some mindful movements with our bodies today. Do you guys like to move your bodies? Yes. Yes. All right. Can you tell me what this animal is? An elephant. An elephant. You're right. Have you seen an elephant before? Yes. Yeah. What do elephants have in the front of their face? A trunk. A long trunk. Can you take your arms and make a trunk with your long arms? And we're going to pretend we're elephants, all right? So we're going to take our long trunk, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to reach down into the big pot of water, and we're going to sip some water through our trunk. All right? And then we're going to take our trunk way up. We're going to spray the water out of our trunk. Can you spray the water out from side to side? Look at that. Way to go. You guys did a great job with elephants. All right. Do you know what this animal is? A bird. A bird. An eagle. An eagle. You are right. That's an eagle. Have you seen an eagle fly before? Yes. Eagles have big, oh, look at that. They have big wings. We're going to take our big wings and when we're going to reach them way up and go up on our tippy toes and then down to the ground. Can you pretend you're flying like an eagle? You look like you're looking down from way up high in the sky. You are great eagles. One more time, arms up, wings up. Great job, all right. We're going to come down onto the mat for this one. These are two animals we're going to do together. Snake. Do you know, a snake, right? You know how to be a snake? Look at yes. that. So yes, snakes go on the ground, right? So you know what we're going to do for snake? We're going to take our hands underneath. And we're going to lift our back up just a little bit like a cobra. And then we're going to be a a snail. Yeah, snails go into their shells. You can rest your body right here in your shell. See if you can feel your breath in your body. Do you feel your breath expanding back here? Let me see if I can feel your breath. Oh, I feel your back moving. Can I feel your breath in your snail? You know how at the zoo, all of the animals need water, right? Yeah, and you know those big hoses that they use to give the animals water? Yeah, first of all, take your hands like this. We're gonna take our hands and we're gonna tighten our arms up really, really tight, and then we're gonna release it like all the water goes out of the hose. Are you ready? Tighten, oh my gosh, you are really tightening. Tighten, 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 ready? And then, let it all out like the water out of the hose. Want to try that again? Tighten, 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 tighten. Good job tightening and pshhh. Let all the water out. Yeah. Can we try that with our legs too? Let's sit with our legs straight out. Can you tighten all of the muscles in your legs? Make them really, really tight all the way through and Let it all out. Like you were even tightening your toes in your shoes? Me too. You were? Let's try it again. Ready? Tighten, tighten, tighten everything, even the toes. And then, 
Good job. Now let's try it with our whole bodies. Are you ready? One, two, three. Tighten everything up, hands and, and legs and toes and fingers and face. And nice job. Thanks for joining us. If you're interested in learning more, there are lots of resources available online. I hope that you have fun exploring mindful movements like these with the kids in your life. <laughs>